Hey guys, so today I've got a quick unboxing and little review for this thing I ordered from US. So it's from the company called Charge and Pro, and it's going to solve the problem I have with the new MacBook. This is not fun. Adapters are not fun. I've got this one adapter now for one USB port and one HDMI port from USB-C. And I reckon I need to buy a lot more adapters, so I'm hoping what's in the box will fix it. Let's have a look. Just a quick side note, I've also got this rubber plugs here for the ports that I'm not using to keep dust out. It's quite convenient. So here it is, the Charge N Pro. It's a USB-C hub. Let's look at the description. It's got a 4K output, 3 USB 3.0 ports, SD card reader, micro SD card reader, and USB-C powered. All metal body. Pro edition. Um, it's bigger than I expected and it's got some it's got some weight to it. Let's have a look at the back. So you've got your USB type C adapter. Uh, flexible cable, all metal body, rubber grip, the HDMI port, micro SD, SD card reader, USB 3.0, three of them, and USB Type C for power. Charge and your life. That sounds weird. Charge and your life. Charge and your life. Charge and your life. You gotta say it with the exclamation mark. Charge and your life! Okay. Before I unbox this, some of you may know that there's another version of this USB-C hub without the cable and it looks like this and the reason I didn't choose this one is because in order for this to work although it looks really nice and it sits flush like like so but in order for it to work you can't have a case on your MacBook and I don't know if you can tell but I've got a case on my MacBook right here so if this adapter cannot sit flush on the MacBook here, it's not going to work. This would be so convenient, but yeah, I need I need a case on my MacBook. This 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 MacBook is not cheap. A quick note on pricing if you're interested. So you can buy it on the official website or the Amazon store. The Charge and Pro, this particular model is right now ninety four dollars ninety nine cents, and you can get ten percent discount on their website. The one I bought was $82.99 and you can get 10% off for this as well. I'll leave the link to their website at the bottom and all you need to do to get the 10% is just subscribe to them. It's shown there. Now let's unbox this. Okay, so as I unbox this, let me walk you through why I purchased this one because if you've googled it before, I'm sure you know that there's a lot of cheaper options. So I did a lot of research, I watched a lot of YouTube reviews and the thing that justified the price of about 90 USD is that this really is a premium USB-C hub. And what's more important than the build quality is the read-write speeds that this thing has to offer. So in the test that one of the YouTubers did, I'll link his video uh, in the description below. He tests out a few USB-C adapters so you can have a look at what's suitable for your price range. But basically, the Charge and Pro wins because it is the most portable, the most worth it, and it has the best read-write speeds. You might be thinking you can save so much by buying the cheaper models, but if you're not getting some decent read-write speeds, it's not really going to be worth it. You're not utilizing that USB-C port. So it's got a nice uh, metal, is it metal? Yes, metal finish to it. This is the cable. Okay, it looks sturdy. I'm not going to push it to its limit, but it's sturdy. You've got the rubber feet at the bottom, so it doesn't move. So on the left, you've got the HDMI out. 4K video support. In the center you've got the micro SD card and on the right you've got the normal SD card support. On the bottom side you've got the USB power in. 
On the other side, you've got three USB 3.0 ports. It's a pain to be having a laptop that is so futuristic. So something like this helps a lot. This is a thumb drive or USB drive. It supports both USB 3 and also USB-C. Now I have a lot of USB 3 and lower devices that I use. So on a daily basis, I use things like my thumb drive, my Samsung SSD, the Blue Yeti. I deal with a lot of SD cards as well. Let's set this up and see how I would use it. So this is the power cable, the USB-C power cable. Let's take this out. Let's first figure out which direction this thing will be pointing. Since the USB power in port is at the bottom, it will make sense to push this facing this way. But that makes all the USB ports behind the computer. Or maybe I'll put it this way. That way. Oh, damn. Sorry. It'll be nice like this, but then this power cable will need to come all the way for. Hmm. We plug this in here. Okay, the laptop is charging, it made the sound. Okay. It looks alright there. Um, all the USB interfaces will be pushing out this way. I mean, it's the, only, it's the only direction that makes sense. It has to go to the back. If not, the power cable will be really messy when it comes forward. Let's try plugging in some devices and how. let's see how messy this gets. I am amazed right now because I've maxed out the hub. I don't know if you can see this, but the, the USB drive is on. This hard disk is running. The SSD is running. There's a... Uh, SD card here, there's a micro SD card inside there and there's a HDMI out Yes, it's plugged in Does it work? HDMI This is the main screen This is the extra screen It's working Let's look at the desktop for the other stuff so I've got the GoPro micro SD card I've got the SSD I've got the hard disk I've got the... Oh, the this is the SD card and I've got the thumb drive. Everything is working, look. I'm amazed. I'm not gonna do a read write speed test or anything like that. The video that I mentioned just now covers all of that. So just have a look at his video. But from a normal consumer point of view this thing is amazing it's perfect it's a bit pricey but it's a worthy investment especially for all your old devices and i mean come on it's only through one usb-c port i definitely recommend this product i've linked them in the description below you can get 10 percent off now just subscribe to them subscribe to their email newsletter yep that's all before I forget, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them.